hi this is classic touch once again thank you all for subscribing and if you are just joining us i welcome you and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell button so for today's style now we are going to be working with the sego and the glue gun because we are going to be gumming some parts of it then we also need our velcro tape which is four inches all right so let's get into the main work now so i'm going to be folding my my segue into two now so as to cut the cap itself so we are going to be cutting the cap first so i'm folding it into two and i will measure out um 15 inches okay unfold is 15 inches so by the time you open it up you have 30 inches in length okay so that's 15 inches yeah 15 inches unfold all right 15 inches on fold so by the time you open it up you are going to have 30 inches in length okay so now i'm going to be measuring um the width now okay how wide do you want it to be so this depends on how big you want your card to be okay so for that i'm making use of um 15 inches or so so I'm working with 15 inches width. So that's how wide I want my cap to be, okay? So I'm just going to be cutting it out. So once again, you unfold this 15 inches length. That is when you open it up, you have 15 inches, um, 30 inches in length and 50 inches for the width, okay? So if you want it, if you want to um, have, you want your cap to be very big, so you can increase your width to be more than 15 inches, okay? So I'm just going to be cutting it out like so. Alright, so let's draw it. Okay, so I've cut out the cap. So this is what we are going to be used for our cap, okay? So I'm just taking the measurements once again for you to see. Okay, 15 inches unfold, and the width is also 15 inches for the cap okay so it depends on how wide you want it to be like i said so if you just happen to stop on my video please um don't forget to subscribe like and share also comment okay so now we are going to move into um the the style on top of it okay so unfold you are going to fold your fabric also that is your circle I'm folding it into two because my working space is not that wide. So I wouldn't want a situation whereby you'll not be seeing what I'm measuring. Okay, unfold. I just want to note what I have there. So that's like 29 and a half, almost 30 inches. So for this for the star on top of it, it doesn't have to be um the exact length I'm using here because after cutting my cap that is all what i have left so i'm just going to go ahead with it like that so if your own sego is the one that is very long so you just work with it like that it doesn't matter all we need is the width okay so the width here now the width here is just six inches okay so i've cut six inches by the length of the remaining sego which is almost 30 inches so i'm going to be cutting it two times sorry about that that's my baby girl all right so I've just cut it two times there. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just join it together to form a long strip, which I'll be joining together. I'll be folding after that. And I'll show you the next thing to do. So that's just it. That's all what we need for our style, okay? So just take it to your machine like so. Okay, make sure that the front is facing the front, okay? You don't want it uh the opposite direction all right so now i'm at the sewing machine so i'm going to be joining it together for us to see making sure that the the, the two fronts are facing each other like so see so the two front there and that is the back okay so i'll just join it together like that okay all right, so I'm done joining. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to fold it together and stitch. This time around, uh, I just fold it inside out, okay? So you don't need to turn. 
you need to turn it you just want to fold it into two so you have three inches wide so moving on to the cap now you know we are working with 15 inches width so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be forming just two pleats the same way we form pleats for our base for our auto gilet base so i'm just going to form it two pleats there all right so i'm done forming the two pleats here you can see just two so if you want to have more than two pleats that means you're going to increase the width of your cap okay so now i'm taking the velcro so the first thing you do before you take the velcro is you want to stitch the sides okay so i'm not going to be stitching the other side because it already has a zigzag cut there so i'm just going to be stitching this other side okay that doesn't have this zigzag i'm just going to be pressing it down like that just to meet the edge okay if you're working with a zigzag scissors you just use your scissors to cut it there will be no need for you to stitch so there will be no need for you to do what i'm doing right now all right so that's just it so after that so after that on your right this is my right now on your right okay you you turn your cap to the back at least the back now you are putting on the back not on the front side of your cap so the right side of of your cap at the back you are going to stitch the softer part of your velcro to it okay the softer part of your velcro is what i'm stitching now so i'm going to stitch it like that okay so i've already done that so i'm going to take the other part now place it on top of it okay so i will now cross it like that because i want my cap to have a kind of zigzag shape at the end i'm sorry excuse me I want it to have a kind of um, V shape at the front, okay? Because my velcro is going to be at the front, not at the back. So that's why I'm going to just cross it like that. Just, just look at the way I've crossed it, okay? So I'm just going to cross it like that, okay? So it's going to have a kind of V shape at the front. So you place it exactly where you want it to be, okay? All right. So I'm just trying to adjust to get the exact um, position i want it to be okay so after that i just use my needle to hold it together at the edge then you are going to just release the other part of your velcro that is the other part because we are going to be stitching the other part to the other side okay all right so i'm going to use my pin now to secure this velcro in place before i stitch it together so just note that one of the velcro is going to be at the back straight but make sure that the one at the back and that, that you soon straight is going to be the softer one why the one that will be at the front of your cap which is going to be slant is going to be the other one okay so you just leave it like that i'm just going to stitch it together so all right so i've already done that you can see one is straight while the other one is slant so the softer one is straight and the other one is slant like that so the reason why we are doing it is when you are adjusting the cap so that the softer part will be the one that will be touching your your head okay so i'm going to be turning it inside out now because we need to stitch it up okay so as it is there now that is the front the the v part so from that v part you are going to fold it into two so i've already turned my cap now to the back so from the v part at the front i fold it into two like that so that v part is serving as the center of my cap now so i fold it into two now okay you see what i have there so from the other side from the other side that is the other side of your cap that is the one at the back now I'm going to measure three inches okay I measure three inches you can use your pin or um, your chalk to just mark out the three inches there so from that three inches I'm going to stitch 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 and when I get to that edge there I will just cuff it okay okay so when I get to the edge there now so just watch what i'm doing guys so i'm going to stitch it's not going to be straight like that i'm just going to cuff it a little bit and see what i've done there just cuff it a little bit there 
and you take it all the way down okay so the, the reason why i'm doing this is you are meant to just gather it okay you are meant to just use your needle and tray to just gather it but because this is sego to so tack sego is not that easy so i just use your um, machine to secure it first before using your needle and tray to gather it okay, that's just it so after stitching i'm still going to gather it up. i want to finish the other part first so i'm turning it out turning it to the front so it's at the front now so what i'm going to be doing is the upper parts you can see that there will be an opening at the front there so i, do, I need to close that up because we, do, we don't want our hair to be showing so so i'm going to be measuring five inches from the edge where the plaster is where the velcro is so i'm measuring five inches out so from that five inches i'm going to stitch the remaining one i'm just going to secure it with my machine there because we don't want our hair to be showing from that point you can use this method for your ankara you can use it for your for your ashoki too if you want um if 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 your customer wants the vehicle to be at the front so that they can easily adjust it and you don't want to you, you don't want to work with elastic and the lights okay you want to work with your vehicle so you can use this method for it too the same way all right so i'm just going to be stitching that part you see this will be tricky here so you just you need to make sure that you're not stitching the other part of the cap alongside with this you have to be careful when stitching this part okay so i'm just going to be closing it up like that okay i've almost gotten to the end here now mm -hmm. okay so that's just it okay so just secure it like so make sure everything is in place and remember to cut out the excess trade so our cap is almost ready guys it's almost ready so can you see i've stitched that part so i only have the five inches left so for easy wearing okay for easy wearing so that's just it i have my cap ready now so that's just it so the five inches we left out is just for us to be able to wear the cap easily okay so what's left now is just to gather the back. I just need to gather the back here, then, okay? Just with my needle and thread, the same way we gather for our turban. So that's the same thing I'm going to do here now. I just want to turn it out so you all can see. Okay, so that's just it. So I just want to cut out that part. So the reason why I'm doing it this is because it's sego. Sego don't free. If you are working with Asho, okay, please just leave it as it is, okay? So I'm going to take my needle and thread now from the three inches. From just going to run your um, gather stitch alongside where you where you stitch, okay? I'm just going to run my gathers there, bam, 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 all the way to the point where I stopped my my sewing, okay? So that's these are called gathers just run it gathers a loose stitch some call it loose stitch too okay so i'm just going to run it to that point and tie it together okay that's just it guys and our cap is ready our cap is ready so if you want to be bigger than this like i said earlier you just increase the width of your cap the length will still be 30 inches but the width can be more than 15 inches depending on how big you want your cap to be so our cap is ready now guys our cap is ready i just want to place it on the dummy so you can see okay that's just it so the vehicle will be at the front i'm going to be adjusting it at the front there okay so that's why we 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 need our um, the softer parts of the plaster to be at the at the at, at the um, at the upper part okay so by the time the person is adjusting so the softer part will be the one that will be touching the head okay you don't want any discomfort for you or your client okay all right so that's just it now so now i'll go to this 
style on top of the cut now too. So I just form um, a pleat, like two pleats. It can be more than two. And it can just be one. It can just be one. I'm just going to form a pleat like that. I'm just going to form a pleat like that. Okay, then you turn it to the back. Okay, so just watch what I'm doing, guys. You place at the back, then I turn it to the back. Okay, so I'm going to start rolling. Okay, so I'm repeating that so you can see it clearly. Okay, and I'll start rolling it to form a kind of rose. But this time around, as I'm rolling, I'm going to be combing. I'll be applying my comb. So before you start stitching, before you start sewing your cap at all, make sure you're, that your your gun is already plugged. So that way it will be ready by the time you want to start making forming your rules, your your gum your glue gun will be ready for use okay to be very very hot it must be very very hot for it to really stay okay so as you are rolling you just be um, applying your gum to it okay so just follow what i'm doing guys you can see the way i'm pleating it I'm just trying to form a rose there so i'm pleating I'm going to be applying the gum to it, okay? So, that's just, that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. So, as I'm pleating it, the pleat, like a fan pleat, okay? The pleat is like, it's like a fan pleat. You just form a fan pleat, little one. So, and then you roll it to the previous one you have there. That's what I'm doing. So, and as you are rolling, you are going to be applying your gum to it because sego is not easy to tack so you don't want to start tacking all these guys it's very 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 hard to tack so the best thing to use is your glue gum okay so you just make sure that you apply your your gum in such a way that is very neat you don't want your gum to be showing at the front you don't want it to be showing at all not just at the front you don't want it to be showing at all so you just gum it in a neat way so this is what i'm going to be doing okay and you can see what I'm doing. The tip of the next one I'm doing now is just underneath the previous one, okay? It's just underneath it like that. So you apply your gum to it and make sure everything just stays in place. So I'm just going to be repeating this. So basically, that's the style. So basically, that, that's the style, okay? So just continue like so. So I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and for your comments, likes. I really appreciate it. I can't do all this without you guys. And if you just happen to stumble on my video, thank you very much for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell button so as to be notified each time I drop a new video. And please and please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section box below. Alright, so I'm just going to be repeating the same thing. You can see. So now the, the rose is wide enough. So I'm just pleating the, the next one at the back of the previous one. Okay, so just wanted to stay at the back like that so as to form a kind of petals. Okay, so I'm just going to be coming it together like so. Okay, so that's just the style. Just coming together. So I'll just keep on doing it like that. I'll just keep on going. Okay, now so I've almost gotten to um, the the point I want it, how wide I want it to be. So I'm just going to cut off the excess. Okay. So I didn't finish the two that I joined together. I just look like one and a half of it, okay? So I'm just going to cut it off like so. Since it's sego, so I wouldn't mind just cutting it off. So if you're working it actually okay, you want to take that edge to the sewing machine and just stitch it together. Just put it up like that. So I'm still trying to pleat, okay? So now I just want to close up that edge. So I'm still forming the plate like that. So I just want to close it up now. So I'm applying my comb to it and just stitch, stitch it up like so. Okay, so this is how wide I want it to be. If you want yours bigger than this, you just continue. So the edge now, just look at what I'm doing. So I'm just going to fold it in like that, just to keep it underneath. If you just watch what I'm doing, I'm going to do it again. So I'm just trying to pull down onto the front a little. So I'll just 
fold it to the back like that okay so just fold it all right so okay so just fold it to the back just to secure the edge at the back so that's just it i'm going to be applying my gum to put everything in place please and please make sure you are applying your gum in a neat way you don't want to gum all over the place okay so now apply it at the other side of the of the edge too like that so i'm just going to keep on applying wherever place i i i felt i it needs to 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 be joined together all right so that's just it my my rose is ready so the back there now i'm just going to go in by one inch okay the middle that middle of the back so you just measure out one inch it's going by one inch and i'll take it to my sewing machine and just stitch it together like so okay just stitch it together like that so it's just one inch from the back the middle of the back like that so you just fold it in by one inch and take it to your sewing machine and stitch all right guys so i've done that now so i've done that okay so i've stitched it so taking it back to my dummy so we need we need to gum the rose now so the cap itself okay so just trying to style my cap you can see the v-shape i'm talking about at the front so just retacking i'm just refixing it here so just so you can see okay now so that's just it so the v-shape is at the front there so now i want to attach my my rose to it okay so you place it exactly where you want it to be so it's going to be on on the frontal part there so i'm just going to be applying my gum so you you can cut off this that ssd there you can cut it off a bit but if it's ashoki you know ashoki is softer or your ankara is softer so there will be no need for you to cut so i'm just going to apply my my gum around that point so this time around you want to put enough gum so everything can just stick together so let's to apply as much gum as i can okay all right so i'm just going to pack it just place it on it and you press it down so you press it and give it some time to to stick together okay so that's just it so i'm just going to give it some time so everything can just stick together and be in place okay so i'm just pressing it down like that so you just press 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 and stick together so if 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 if, if, if you are not in a hurry so you can just remove your cap from the dummy Move it from the dome and just place it down and use something just put add object on your cap so just leave it like that for some minutes like 10 minutes